we've condemned ourselves and basically by our ancient thinking, kind of what I was mentioning when I said uh, the, the, the theory we have that we've done something wrong to alien our, alienate ourselves from God. Uh, we condemn ourselves for that. And yet, look at the American Indians. We don't condemn them for the thought that the earth was on a big turtle. Or the Hawaiians that, uh, you know, uh, Pele made a volcano. You know, it's just fun. It's just kind of cute. We need to have that same compassion for us. So when somebody does something crazy, we kind of need to go, aren't they cute? They're just kind of acting up right now. But aren't they adorable little things? You know, think about babies. I always go back to this. To me, they're great examples of stuff. When, when a baby is really small, they oftentimes put little mittens on their hands. Have you ever noticed that? You know why that is. Their little nails are growing and they'll scratch their faces or they'll scratch other people's faces, but primarily they scratch themselves. There's their muscle, they're, they're just jerking and they just don't know. The hand comes up and they poke themselves in the eye and they do all sorts of weird things. Now little scratches on their faces from their really sharp little nails and they're not biting them at that time <laughs> like they do later in life. Uh, but you put those little things on them. And I remember one time, I mean, Jeffrey, he hardly had any nail grow at all uh, because he was a preemie. But he was, when those muscles are developing in their, in their little hands, they're flailing their little hands all the time. And so you're holding them and, oh, aren't you so lovely? And then all of a sudden an eye pokes you in the eye, you know, a little hand, I mean, a hand pokes you in the eye and it's like, oh, oh, you know, and what do you do? Do you go, how dare you, child, all I've done is give to you and give to you and change your poopy diaper and feed you and you hit me in the face? What do you do? Oh, aren't you adorable? It's so cute. You hit me in the eye. How funny. <laughs> you have a great time with them, right? We're no different. Now when somebody says, nah, 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 you know, and you go, <laughs> nah, 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 and you, you get all huffy and puffy back at them, you got to start thinking of them. They're just like that little baby who has no control over their muscles. They just got a little out of control there. Because to, it, to respond to it as if they did it on purpose means you just attacked yourself first. To be able to respond means you attacked yourself first and then you got mad at them and didn't I do something to you? I raised my cortisol levels and I made myself sick and ha ha, I got you, didn't I? And I'm left with the results of this stress inside of me. And that's what this is saying. Think about it that way. You're the one left in the stew pot of anger and it does you no good. And they're not going to learn from you anyway, by the way, just so you know. So you might want to try a different approach.